guys, so I know, I know it's been a while since I've been posting ahead. I know a lot of guys have been asking about the Mercedes and they want to see more mods. So, you know, you guys know I just got the, uh, this right here, the 645, or if you didn't know, now you know. But what was holding me up was this thing has been whooping my, you know what, uh, with all the transmission stuff. And, you know, I got everything changed uh, that I can do, uh, but most likely uh, I got a bad torque converter or a clutch pack. And, you know, even though I do the DIY, there's just some things that I would rather leave to professionals and, you know, dropping a tranny is not something that I probably can be capable of doing in my garage know what I would probably want to it just sounds like a headache so what I did is I purchased a scanner so I heard about this just from this you know what reading reviews and you know going around the internet and just kind of seeing what is out there it's available that is decent so this is what I bought here the Foxwell multi-system scanner 510 elite um hot right now so it looks like i'm sweating um i am it is like uh, over 100 at least um out here so so anyway we're gonna get to it i'm gonna show you uh with this foxwell 510 elite scanner how we lower this car but i just want to show you that you but you'll have the ability to lower it even more uh, i'm just gonna take it down a notch just show you the movement uh, all four corners the steps that you have to go through in the menus to get this done so here so i just plugged it into the obd2 um all the umbrella car manufacturer makes that are under you know that umbrella of mercedes come preloaded also so uh with mercedes uh came with sprinter um smart and i believe the maybach too because uh, it pops up on here so you'll be able to also you know scan and get the software for those cars as well with the mercedes um now you see bmw here is because i purchased that just recently so you can purchase other car makes manufacturers but it's, it's extra uh, all you have to do is download the foxwell um, software on your computer uh, you, it's lifetime updates on all of these uh, software programs for each car manufacturer just by syncing up to the program uh, your laptop uh, usb via usb or you know if you use a flash drive and you know it just automatically automatically update so what we're going to do here is we are going to go to i'm going to go up i'm going to go to mercedes enter now i'm going to go with the bins smart bin which is going to read your bin number there you go now we're going to hit F3 for complete, and then your year, uh, nope, seven, we go left hand steering, and it's going to load. Now like I said, it takes, okay, so where I'm already in. So see, I had the option to do quick scan, which it will scan, you can reset your oil. Now you can hear control modules right here. Uh, you can access the modules, so with either if it's your drive, chassis, body, communications, receipts, your AC, you know, driver's assistance. You... So this is, the driver's side is the side that I got my little level uh, electronic measuring uh, digital caliper reader, so I can do millimeters and inches uh let's go with millimeters so so we left off at number six so i selected six i'm gonna press enter so enter six and you hear the air coming out as you press it so that's one press 
71.6 See, we're, we're just going lower and lower every time I measure We're at 71.4 And with the 3, 2, and 0 Lift front right lower front so we're gonna go lower front right and it will be number six so we'll go to number six okay. see we were already at seven seventy one millimeters so we were at seventy one point five so it's slowly going down so you, you don't wanna just press the button or you don't want to select lower to press it two or three times you, you want to do it in one increments at a time just to give it time to just lower and settle or raise and settle so it's it's not an immediate thing that just happens right away uh you know everything with the factory air suspension you know it kind of gradually lowers so keep that in mind uh so i'm gonna zero this out again we'll measure it Alright, 71. So I'm gonna go back, do it again. Alright, 70. Hit this up one last time. CC 8.2. Go ahead and do the back. 59. Point five. Oh, yeah. Sixty-three. So there is a little off on there. So I'm gonna go to lower. Right rear, which would be ten. So we'll go to 10, all right, hit enter, and hit it one time, let it settle. I went twice because I knew that, you know, by doing the other ones, you kind of get a feel for how many times you're going to have to go down. 59. You want to be really kind of close to the ballpark. I mean, you're talking about millimeters, so it's not like you're off inches. Um, so, you know, being like a millimeter off, I'm fine with that. Uh, as long as you're not way far off so I mean being a millimeter off I mean that's it's pretty good I mean they're not gonna nitpick it some people may try to dial in exactly um, but for me I mean I'm good with that uh, so there you go um, it's a little adjustment you know I showed you with this uh, Foxwell um, scanner guys a really good tool uh, to use uh, I just leveled out my car um, to make it even and gonna hit OK and it is going to save uh, so this is the height that uh, I dialed in
joining me again guys if you have any kind of questions let me know about this don't forget to like the video guys subscribe if you have thank you for waiting we've been trying to get some more mods for the s-class you know it's all cleaned up and comment below what you think i should do next to the s-class i don't know i'm thinking rap maybe that's like something else i could do i don't want to go too much over the top like i said i like it kind of clean looking uh, i don't know maybe that's thing about roof spoiler let me know what you think of that just whatever whatever you guys think um comment below and let me just do it make another video give me some content to do that you guys want to see from your request so thanks again thanks for watching and see you on the next video